John Jones says that he was missing the fear in the fights. He said he stopped studying footage as much. He started to look forward to another day. He said that the fear was gone. He didn't really fear the guys. He was happy with this pay, but he didn't really find the challenge in guys like Dominic Reyes, Anthony Smith, guys who had been dreaming of fighting him probably since they'd been in college. He was just relatively unknown to the public, is what John said. John said that he just wanted more. He said he wanted to be nervous going into the fights. He wanted to have that fear again. You know, I was talking to my kids last night as we get ready for the state tournament. And I spoke to them about fear, what it means. And John, he hit it on the point. He said he thinks the fear is healthy. And now that he's in this position with the heavyweight division being tougher and scarier than it's ever been, he feels like he's right where he needs to be. He said he feels like he has rediscovered those nerves. I was talking to those kids and I told them to embrace the fear. The fear can't consume you because without that fear, how do you know that you're ready? I have never, guys, in my life thought about a time where I have competed, whether it was wrestling or whether it was fighting, where I didn't feel almost scared of what could happen. Because again, in fighting, to lose is like death. So that fear would overtake me and I would start to look for it, honestly. I would start to try to expect it. I would, if I felt too good, I would try to almost make that fear come back to me to make me have those nerves because of the uh, size of the undertaking that I was in. I would make myself think of how bad it could be if it goes the other way. Jones said he was missing that. And... For a guy like Jones, who had fought a who's who of guys. Guys, there's fear in Rashad Evans. Because you guys have trained together for so long. There's fear in Rampage Jackson because of the power element. There's fear in Leota Machida because of who he was. There's fear in fighting Shogun Hua. Jones spoke to Dominic Reyes wanting to fight him for so long. That was Jones when he fought Shogun. I can't imagine a time where Jones didn't think to himself, wow, I would love to fight Shogun. He went out there and he did what he did to him. But once the fear is gone, once that element of how bad it could be on the other side, that thing that makes you prepare more and more thorough than anything in the world is gone, that's a hard thing to deal with. It's hard to get up for that, especially when you're making seven figures every time you step in there. Because if the guy doesn't scare you, maybe you get a little more lax in the training. Maybe you're a little more free with the life. Maybe you're a little more loose with the time. I'm telling you, when you're afraid, when you're ready, when you're prepped, everything is lock and sync. But if that guy doesn't make that, those nerves boil up inside of you, it's easy to kind of go in the opposite direction. So I agree. I agree. And that tells me that he'll be more prepared. Hey. His opponent, though, Cyril Ghan is saying some weird stuff about how he doesn't train unless he's getting ready for a fight. I don't know if Jones is buying that, though. I really don't. <laughs> Cyril's, Cyril has been in the game now. He's a tremendous striker. He's a fantastic fighter. And he understands the job and the task at hand. But to say, I don't train unless I got a fight, I see Cyril Ghan compete. It doesn't look like it. He knows what challenge is ahead of him. Jones ain't buying it. Jones has rediscovered the fear, and he should. Because Cyril Gaon is a very dangerous man and should be feared. Cyril Gaon is a real heavyweight that should be feared. And he's a dog because we saw it against Taito Ivasa. Hey, big fight in Las Vegas. I'm just happy that I can be there. And for one, I can't wait.